And so a couple of the crew members coming into view. Um, in the blue shirt, that's Alexander Mazurkin. He'll, he's the uh, he's going to be the Expedition 54 commander uh, who just took over command from Randy Bresnik, who's there on the left now in the long sleeve blue shirt. Sergei Rosansky in the back there in the gray. Paolo Nespoli now coming into view, saying farewell to Mazurkin. He's going to be moving in as well. And Sergei Rosansky in the gray there. He's going to be the Soyuz commander for the flight down. He'll be in the center seat. Saying farewell to the other two NASA astronauts on board, Joe Acaba and Mark Vandehei. They're going to remain on board with Alexander Mazurkin. And they'll be uh, just half of the Expedition 54 crew, which will grow with another three crew members uh, just over this weekend. But for now, looks like Bresnik, Nespoli, and Rosansky inside the Soyuz spacecraft getting a few last-minute shots while they're still in the microgravity environment. And pretty soon they'll be closing the hatchway and beginning the trip home. And just like that, the hatch on the Soyuz spacecraft getting closed there. Russian cosmonaut Alexander Mazurkin now will close up the hatch on the Rosfiat side. And first, just giving the hatchway a uh, quick clean, make sure it's free of any um, debris or other objects that could prevent a uh, thorough seal. As once this is closed, uh, it'll kick off a series of leak checks just to uh, ensure a tight seal and that once they undock, uh, the station side will stay nice and pressurized. Buddy, it's Moscow. We have a separation flag. And physical separation and undocking confirmed. 11.14 p.m. Central Time, 12.14 a.m. Eastern Time, with the station flying 255 statute miles over the southern part of Mongolia. the docking unit and interface.
the Soyuz capturing the last glints of sunlight as the sun about to set on both the station and the orbiting craft. The Soyuz with three crew members inside of it, Sergei Rozanski, Randy Bresnik, and Paolo Nespoli still departing the area of the International Space Station in the early stages, but its journey begun to return these th three back to Earth after 139 days aboard the International Space Station. Nespoli, Rosansky, and Bresnik. Rosansky, the Soyuz commander for this mission, overseeing their departure and all of the stages coming up for the rest of the evening. Paolo Nespoli in the left seat, Randy Bresnik in the right seat for all of the remainder of the operations. But everything going extremely smoothly and right on time, right per the timeline so far today, with that undocking coming at 11.14 p.m. Central Time, 12.14 a.m. Eastern Time, the vehicle separating from the Rosfiat module. It executed its first departure burn successfully, and that's setting it to depart away from the International Space Station, eventually setting it up for uh, its future deorbit burn but we'll stick around while the Soyuz remains in sight as they continue to depart the area, again, in the early stages, but definitely now on their way home to that landing in Kazakhstan. And touchdown. Landing confirmed, 2.37 a.m. Central, 3.37 a.m. Eastern. Randy Bresnik, Sergey Rosansky, and Paolo Nespoli back on planet Earth after a successful stay on board the International Space Station. <laughs> Are you ready? And the Soyuz commander, Sergey Rosansky, first one out the door. I'm ready, be careful. Hey, Paolo. Yeah. Italian astronaut Paolo Nespoli making his way down now again. Fresh off of his second long duration space flight on board the station, well in excess of 300 days in space spent in his lifetime. And last but not least, we just saw him come out of the capsule, NASA astronaut Randy Bresnik, arms in the air. Excited to be back down here on Earth. He's gonna move over and join Nespoli and Rosansky in the chairs. Again, get those initial checkouts. And with that, all three crew members out of the capsule, that descent stage of the Soyuz MS-05 on Earth now empty, the three crew members return home. 